All right, hello, Internet Bling, back with another one. I'm just going to start this video off with a few little points that I wanted to make. Currently got 929 people subscribed to my channel. I know that's not a lot, but I am trying my hardest to break a thousand. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. I do see a lot of people on here who watch my videos and haven't subscribed. So it would really help me if you subscribed. And I'm just trying to get up to 1,000 subs right now, so that shouldn't take long. Next point is private messages. Every time I make a YouTube, in fact, all the time, every time I make a YouTube and every time I do anything, really, I've begun to get a lot of private messages through Facebook. Uh, in between sort of 10 and 30 every day. And there's too many of them. I, I just can't put the time into them. I spend a lot of time of my days working and if I just help people on private messages all day it'd be nice for them but it wouldn't enable me to do any work at all so please don't send me any private messages I'm really not being rude I just haven't got the time to answer any of them if you do want to help I've started this Facebook group here I'll just scroll this down like that so you can see the URL here, facebook.com slash groups slash pod authority. This was originally just for people who bought my course, but I've decided to relax that a little bit and change it. So if you want to come over here and you need to answer a few questions, this is a point I'm going to make. I just tried to join here under a URL. There's a few questions here and I still get a lot of people every day just request access to the group and not answer the questions. If you don't answer them, you're not going to get into the group, okay? It's quite easy. I just need a bit of verification to make sure you're not a bot. Answer these, answer the questions and click submit here and then I'll approve you. And uh, this is obviously in for approval right now. Let me go and approve that real quick. Okay, now I've been uh, approved. Here is the group and there's quite a few people already asking questions and answers happening and stuff like that. People are beginning to help each other in here, which is really nice. That was kind of my aim. And also there's links here to free download of over 80 shine on the designs so if you want those i encourage you to join the facebook group please answer the questions i just looked when i was over there approving my own identity there's another two people just requested access this morning and they've not they've not answered the questions so if you don't answer them i'm not going to approve you it's really quite easy so just make sure you answer them right and then that's one way to get help also, if you have bought my course through Udemy, there's a place there where you can ask questions as well. I will probably hop in there once or twice a week to see if I can answer those. And also, a few people are already getting private coaching off of me. And I'm thinking of opening up a few more slots for that as well. I'm trying to find the time to do that, but that's a possibility and that's going to come soon as well if you are interested in that then please do get in touch with me. But as for just asking questions about ads and designs, that kind of thing, I can't really help you on those right now. All right, next point. The course, if I haven't already run this down your neck enough, is live on Udemy. I'll put the link in the description of this video. It's only $80, which is really good value. Nine hours of content and uh, in amongst many other things, it includes a full week by week breakdown of how I scaled a shine on product from zero to 100k and more in 12 weeks. That product is currently up to, I think, about 183k. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I just had a look. It's, it's about to hit 185k. <laughs> it's off one necklace. So I'll just put a screenshot of that over the top for you. And that's possible and more. My course sort of explains how you do this. So if you're interested in that, please do hit the link and check it out. I haven't charged 500 bucks like a lot of course creators tend to do or even 999 and more. You know, I'm trying to be fair here and I think $80 is a really good price. So if you're interested in uh, investing in yourself, go and check that out now. And let's get on with the video. So this is about configuring your 
domain, your custom shine on domain for Facebook events, which we all need to do now because of the new iOS. And I don't know if any of you have read in the news the kind of war that's happening between Apple and Facebook at the moment. Facebook obviously is an ads based platform, that's how they make their money and they want sort of open access to be able to easily target everyone whether you're on android or iphone or ipad or whatever apple on the other hand just introduced a thing that allows you to opt out of this uh, advertising tracking used by F facebook and F facebook are really pissed off <laughs> so maybe look that up in the news if you want to find out a bit more what's happening there but i've i've had a lot of requests about this uh, a lot of requests coming in on private message a lot on my facebook group youtube comments and everything so a lot of people seem to want to know how to fix this up so this is what this video is about again there there's a couple of shine on videos about it and i, I don't want to hate on those guys but like a lot of their videos are, they're just a sort of a headshot of a guy talking as he takes you through stuff and not very well explained so i'm just gonna try and rectify that here and walk you through the steps that you need to get this fixed up first you need to make sure your domain is verified number one with shine on and number two with facebook I walked through how to do this in my video here, free course number 11, how to add your custom domain. So if you haven't already sorted that out, how to do that is in that video there. So go and watch that and do not do the steps in this new video until this above one is completed. All right, the instructions are in free course 011. So look that up and my domain is enabled in shine on here so if we go to my products so log in first if we go to my products you can see where we get the links here i can choose to either use shine on's domain which i do not recommend you do anymore or i can use the one that i added myself your domain works okay here by coming into your product and you'll see here that you can pick i've changed the uh, domain to here and i can just copy this for the base variant drag this bar down so you can see my url bar and then paste that in and that's got my custom uh, domain working for product with shine on and there you go that is a hosted shine on page being used with my own custom domain. So that's got that verified and working as was here. And then also, as I went through in my YouTube, you need to verify your domain in Facebook as well. Once you've got those completed, these steps, we want to go over into ads manager. And if you haven't fixed this up, you've probably got all these <laughs> horrible warnings all over the place in uh, your ads manager luckily on none of these ads are actually on but anyway what we're going to do here is go to resource center and we need to fix up pixel events with our new customer domain what i'm going to do here is do review pixels and that will open the events manager if you do not have these warnings here like this you can get to events manager here right so just click through to get to events manager there i'm going to go back to this other window and it's on about aggravated event management blah 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 what we're going to do here is we're on the heartfelt pixel we're going to go to aggravated event measurement we're going to do configure web events it'll bring up a list of our domains here and this is the one we're using. It's been verified by Facebook, as you can see, which is what we needed here. And what we're gonna do is do manage events. And none of this is important because I don't have any ads running in this ads manager. So what we need to do now is add our events one at a time in this order, okay? This is because the highest priority, what we need is uh, just pick the pixel, heartfelt obviously, and then we choose an event and we need to find purchase. 
right? That's what we want as the highest priority, okay? That's the most important event on this pixel. We want is purchase, and then we're gonna work along the list in this order, add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart, view content, page view, lead. Lead isn't really important, but I just put that in anyway, because you might as well add it in. So we've added purchase at the top, and then we're gonna go add event, choose our heartfelt pixel again, or whichever one you're using. And then we want add payment info like this. Any of these that you add will say no activity in over 28 days if you haven't been sending traffic, which I haven't really in this ads manager because I've just been using it as an example account for YouTube and my Udemy course. So none of that matters, but you do need to add these in in this order. So we've got add payment info as the next priority uh, along the list. Add event again, and just work through like this in this order. So what's next is initiate checkout. There, add another one. Heartfelt again, we want to add to cart. There we go. Number five, now you're only allowed eight, right? Um, that's the maximum number that you're allowed. But uh, we probably won't even need all eight. I don't even think there's eight here on this list. One, two, three, four, five. Right, there's seven here. So that's fine. Got to add to cart in. Next, we're going to go view content. After that, we're going to go page view, if it's even in here. Right, it's not. It's not in there. Okay, that's not an issue. Uh, it's lead in. Yeah, leads in. So these ones at the top are for sure the most important. So number one, highest priority, we've got purchase, then add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart, view content. Lead, honestly, you don't really need that in, but I do quite a lot of work with e um, emailing. Myself, I grow a lot of lists and I email them. I do a lot of work with emailing, so I, I would always put this in on my own pixels. You don't have to. As long as you've got one, two, three, four, five here like this. If you've got page view in yours, that's you might want to include that. But apart from that, just make sure these ones at the top are enabled. Click Submit. And this just sort of asks you for uh, confirmation. Click this box here. Yes, I confirm these changes. Click Apply. And there you go. So they will be applied as it says. And if you want to make any more changes, you need to wait three days. So that's that okay. And that's pretty much it. That's your pixel sorted out. So along with my 11 video here, how to add your custom domain to shine on, plus this new one, which will be 13. That's not actually uploaded yet. I'm gonna upload it after I complete this. Once you've sorted this out here, you'll be completely set up to run ads to your new custom domain platform pages on Shine On. That's it, guys. It's not going to be that long of a video, quite short and sweet, but I'll just end it with once again saying please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.